On Monday, I showed you the invisible robots that are already working at your job. I talked about uh, the billion-dollar nuclear reactors powering their digital appetites. I warned you about uh, what's coming, and now it's time for something different. Um, today, I'm going to show you how Generation X, the forgotten middle class, middle child of demographics, can strike back. How you can go from being replaced by invisible robots to being the one who builds and controls them. How you can turn this digital apocalypse into your personal gold rush. Because while everyone else is clinging to their fading careers and outdated skills, you could be learning to build the very agents that are replacing them. It's time to stop being the victim and start being the executioner. That may sound harsh, uh, but in reality, it's those who decide to quit who make that decision and not you. Um, so I could tell in the comment addendum that a lot of people are getting discouraged and I understand and you know, I have those days too. And of course I can't see in the future. I don't know what's coming exactly. I have a fairly good idea, but, uh, I don't know for sure. And it uh, can be maddening, especially when we're spending all of our time talking about all the doom and gloom that's, that's coming. Uh, so this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about the doom and gloom, but we're going to have some solutions. And I've got to, I've got to do it this way, guys. Even if you disagree with my solutions and say nothing we can do is going to change things, I mean, just if for nothing else to do, just maintain my own sanity, okay? So please hit that like and subscribe button down below so that we can continue to explore this strange new world and seek out robots that are going to kill us. Um, and, and please take a moment to comment, too, down below. Uh, the comments have been fun to, fun to comment back with, back and forth. Uh, I never under... I, I, I thought the person that said a, a flock of rabbits was a fluffle was kidding. I thought that was pretty funny, but apparently that... At least some people think that's true. I uh, heard a... Well, I was going to write it down so I could name... There, was, there were quite a few comments to the rabbit uh, herd. Um, and apparently rabbits like to stay to themselves, so I, I don't know. I have it. I don't know. I haven't had that many rabbits. Although my daughter-in-law, come to think of it, used to raise rabbits. I could, I could talk to her. Um, let's see. Um, and I want to mention, um, on my screen behind me this time is, um, Miss Jen Exodus. So you can find her on, uh, on YouTube, on her YouTube homepage at, uh, at M S G E N X O D U S. And she talks a lot of things about a lot of stuff, uh, everything from cars to retirement, from careers uh, to fitness. And uh, she has a lot of fun doing it. And uh, um, so, you know, check her channel out. She's a fellow Generation Xer. That's probably sexist to say a fellow. I don't know. Uh, an additional? I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, yeah, and take a look at, uh, her channel and, um, also, uh, we're going to uh, talk about here in a few minutes, uh, about a, a plan I've put together for you guys. Uh, so stick around for that, please. Okay. Let me paint the uh, picture of where we are right now. Now, Google just announced they're eliminating the search bar entirely. Uh, they're replacing it with an AI mode that knows what you want before you even think it. They're calling it an everything app, but. What is it really? What is an everything app? Well, it's a network of invisible robots talking to each other behind a pretty chat GPT interface. Microsoft just published their Frontier Firm playbook, an instruction manual for replacing humans with what they call digital colleagues. They're not even pretending anymore. Uh, Wells Fargo's agents handle 75% of searches, cutting response times from 10 minutes to 30 seconds. That's nine and a half minutes of human employment vaporized per query. Meta just bought an entire nuclear reactor, 1.1 gigawatts. Gigawatts! Of uh, atomic power just to feed their AI's energy addiction. Your invisible robot replacement doesn't just work for free. It needs nuclear energy to calculate new ways to make you unemployable. And now Sam Altman is telling rooms full of executives that next year, AI will solve problems that entire teams of humans can't handle, can't, can't do. His Codex agent already works like an intern for hours. Soon it'll be an experienced engineer working for days without sleep, without complaints, without asking for a raise. 
the invisible robot invasion isn't coming. It's here. We talked about it last week or the last episode. It's multiplying like a fluffle of rabbits. And it's powered by nuclear reactors while being cheered on by billionaires who see your termination as a rounding error in their quarterly reports. Here's what those tech oligarchs don't want you to know. Every single one of these everything apps, every frontier firm, every nuclear-powered AI system needs one thing. Someone to build and manage the thousands of AI agents that make it all work. Think about it. When Google's AI mode orders your winter jacket without asking, what's really happening? A shopping agent talks to an inventory agent. A payment agent talks to a banking agent. A preference agent talks to your data stalking agent. It's agents all the way down. And someone has to build them. That someone could be you. Why not? Uh, and again, this is the way that shopping will be done. Um, you won't have to even get on Amazon anymore. Um, you'll just tell your AI agent, you know, this one, this, uh, example I'm talking about was, uh, um, you know, just like it knew you wanted a winter coat and that had to be on some kind of something. It was a past, uh, conversation you had. And so it kept in its memory that you need a new winter jacket. So when it gets close to winter, it'll just automatically order your jacket for you. Um, you've set a limit on what you want to spend in, uh, on Amazon every month, and it'll work within those constraints and, um, it'll arrive. It'll know what you like because you program that all in. And this is where we're headed. And again, it's, it's AI agents and they're here. They're rudimentary right now. But, uh, like I say, every time this is as bad as the technology is ever going to be. You know, so while your coworkers are refreshing job boards with the enthusiasm of a DMV customer, you could be learning to build the invisible robots that will replace them. While they're updating their emergency contacts for severance packages, you could be charging companies a thousand bucks a month for a customer service agent never calls in sick. Polygon Labs just posted a job for an AI transformation lead. A real job at a real company where they'll pay you real money to implement AI solutions across their entire organizations. This isn't some far off fantasy. Companies are desperately hiring people who understand AI agents right now. And, and here's why Generation X is perfectly positioned to strike back. We're the generation that learned DOS commands just to play games. We survived Y2K, the dot com crash, and teaching our parents how to use email. We're tech-savvy enough to learn this stuff, but old enough to understand business politics. We've been through enough corporate nonsense to know how to position ourselves. We know how to talk to executives who don't understand technology. We can translate between the 25-year-old developers and the 65-year-old C-suites. We're the perfect interpreters for this AI revolution. Plus, we're tired enough of being ignored to actually do something about it. Millennials will make TikToks about it. Boomers will pretend it's not happening because, well, for a lot of them, they don't need to worry about it because they're out of the workforce, although it still may affect them. But Generation X, we're used to being overlooked, underestimated, and forgotten. Time to use that experience productively instead of just being pissed off all the time like I seem to be. The best part, you don't need to learn to code. These new platforms like VoiceFlow let you build AI agents with drag and drop interfaces. If you can use PowerPoint, you can build an invisible robot. I just learned how to use PowerPoint a couple years ago. I kind of avoided it because I figured it was hard. It wasn't, it was easy. I can do it, you can do it, no problem. Um, so yeah, you can do this. If you survive creating presentations in the 90s, you absolutely can do this. Uh, it's not, it's not hard at all. Again, no code or maybe a little low code, but usually low code things are when the, the program you're working with can't, uh, literally do the function, but it will explain to you step by step how to do it. And I've even said, okay, that's a great step by step, but I still don't understand it. So give me, give me an even more detailed step by step. And of course it will. First it'll call you an idiot, but then it'll give it to you. So. Microsoft's Copilot Studio calls them virtual employees. Factory AI calls them droids. Callfluent lets you build voice agents in 60 seconds. The tools are getting so easy that your te technologically uh, challenged and drunk uncle could build a customer service solution between errands. 
which he probably shouldn't be doing in a car. Hopefully he's on a bike. Not a lawnmower. You can get a ticket for a lawnmower. I don't know about a bike, but anyway. And the market, it's enormous. Every business hates dealing with their own customers. Every sales team wants to qualify leads without talking to people who can't afford their services. Every medical office needs appointment scheduling that doesn't involve playing calendar Tetris. These are all problems you can solve with AI agents and charge thousands per month to do it. I'm not talking about some coding boot camp that takes two and a half years and costs 50 grand. I'm talking about platforms where you can build your first agent this weekend and potentially have paying clients by next Friday, where you can start with zero experience and be making money within 30 days. The invisible robots are multiplying, but so are the uh, opportunities to build them. While Sam Altman gets excited about AGI timelines, you could be building practical agents that solve real problems for real businesses willing to pay real money. So think about what's really happening here. Meta needs a nuclear reactor to power their AI. Microsoft is transforming entire organizations into frontier firms. Google is, building, is rebuilding search from scratch. Billions of dollars are flowing into AI infrastructure. And all of it, every single dollar, every nuclear reactor, every corporate transformation needs people who understand how to build and manage AI agents. The demand is so massive that companies are posting jobs faster than they can fill them. Just go take a look at Indeed or Monster or the other uh, jobs. Uh, AI ethicists, um, uh, you know, things that we've talked about in the past, they're all there. And it's stuff that if you've been watching, you know how to do now. Um, so there's, there's, there's an interesting twist here. The same AI that's replacing jobs is also creating new ones. Not as many as, as they are, are, are getting rid of. Sure, that's true. I know that's one of your comments. But, but the ones being created pay better and have more security, at least for now. It's like being a blacksmith during the Industrial Revolution who learns to repair the cars. You're still in trouble eventually. We're all still in trouble eventually, but we get to eat while everyone else starves. LinkedIn's data shows AI literacy is the most in-demand skill of 2025. Not Python, not coding, not machine learning, just basic AI literacy. The ability to understand and work with AI agents. That's it. That's the bar. And it's low enough that anybody watching this can clear it. So here's what you do. You download my Gen X AI Agent Builder plan. It's, it'll be linked down below. Uh, it's got the top 10 no-code platforms ranked by ease of use, templates that actually work, and a 30-day roadmap to your first paying client. Totally free. Uh, and if the link doesn't work, just copy and paste it into your search bar. Um, and if you don't see it in your email, then check your spam email. And if you don't see it there, then I've screwed something up and... Uh, it's, it didn't work and I'll have to fix it. The program I'm using says it's very easy. Doesn't say as long as you're not an idiot. Um, but second, look through that list, pick one platform and commit to learning it. Uh, voice flow. If you want the easiest path, copilot studio, if you want corporate credibility, call fluent. If you want to build voice agents, don't overthink it. Just pick one and start. Look through those and start. Third, build something, anything, a customer service bot for your fake business, an appointment scheduler for your dentist or where you get your haircut, a lead qualifier for your brother-in-law's failing startup. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you start building. Because every day you wait, another thousand people discover this opportunity. Every day you hesitate, the invisible ro robots get smarter and the barrier to entry gets higher. But right now, today, the door is still open. You know, Generation X, we've been counted out before. We've been overlooked, underestimated, and ignored. But we're, we've also survived every technological shift thrown at us, from analog to digital, from typewriters to computers, from landlines to smartphones. Now we face the biggest shift yet, from human workers to invisible robots. And we have a choice. We can be victims, watching our jobs evaporate while tech bros by nuclear reactors. Or we can be the ones building the future, even if that future doesn't include us. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, this isn't a permanent solution. Eventually, AI will probably build better AI agents than human can. But that's years away or next year. It's not now. So there's a window, a gap between what companies need and what pure AI can deliver. And in that gap is opportunity. 
Okay, so we've talked about it numerous times. Learn, pivot, learn, pivot. This is your next pivot. Learn all about it. Um, you know, uh, AI is powered by nuclear reactors and cheered on by billionaires, but they still need human masters at this point for now. And those masters are getting paid very well to teach these digital assistants how to replace everyone else. So what's it going to be? Are you going to just update that LinkedIn profile and hope for the best? Or are you going to download the plan, learn voice flow, and start building the robots that replace everyone except you? Hit subscribe, download the pack, start building, uh, because Generation X doesn't go down without a fight. We're the forgotten generation that's about to become unforgettable by building the very thing that makes us obsolete. It's not the ending we wanted, but it's the response we deserve. Generation X strikes back by joining the empire and getting paid. Time to show these billionaires what real adaptation looks like. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>